If you're battling diabetes or managing your weight, you've got to watch your carbs. This means making some sacrifices. One of those sacrifices? Eating fewer grains. Of course, that's a tall order, isn't it? Especially if you love white rice, which is central to many dishes all across the world. However, grains, especially refined white rice, can spike your blood sugar, and it may add on the pounds. But here's some good news. You can switch to more nutrient-rich, low-carb white rice alternatives right away. Specifically, why not try brown rice or quinoa? And no, it's not pronounced quinoa. However, both are riced grain products, and they can still create a rise in glucose levels. Actually, one of them isn't technically a grain. More on that in a moment. But since it's best to eat both quinoa and brown rice sparingly, perhaps you should just pick the better rice option. So, which one is that? Which is more nutritious? And which is better for good blood sugar control? Let's find out. Get ready for a royal rice rumble. But first, could you do us a favor? Please like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Also, stay tuned to learn how you can grab two free gifts. Now, let's get ready to rumble. It's brown rice versus quinoa. Which is better for blood sugar control? First up, contender number one, brown rice. If you've already watched our whole grains versus legumes video, you already know a bit about brown rice. But just in case you need a refresher, let's break down this less broken down version of rice. Yes, brown rice involves far less processing than white rice. In fact, white rice is simply brown rice after it's had its nutrients and fiber stripped away. Rice consists of three main sections, not counting the outer hull, which is inedible. First up, there's the bran, a thin protective layer, which contains B vitamins and other beneficial minerals. The endosperm comprises the bulk of the inside. It's made up of complex carbs and protein, and within the endosperm lies the germ. It's the embryo of the rice grain, and it's packed with nutrition, including vitamins and healthy fat content. Refining brown rice into white rice means that only the endosperm remains. Therefore, white rice loses out on most of the nutrition found within whole grain rice. But exactly how nutritious is brown rice? Well, let's take a closer look at the nutrition of brown rice. Brown rice is a nutritional powerhouse. One cup contains about 226 calories, 44 grams of carbs, and 3.5 grams of fiber. That means its net carb amount is just over 40 grams per cup. It contains 5 grams of protein and under 2 grams of fat as well. So that's still quite a large carb load. But the fiber content can help manage glucose levels. But where brown rice truly shines is its diabetes fighting nutrition. One cup of brown rice has 88% of the manganese you need in a day, which may help to control blood sugar levels. It contains 27% of the daily recommended amount of selenium, which carries antioxidant properties that can boost your immunity, protect against certain forms of cancer, and may reduce your risk of heart disease. Brown rice also contains 21% of your daily magnesium requirement. Magnesium may improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood pressure, and has been shown to reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Besides that, brown rice has good amounts of phosphorus, vitamins B1, B3, B5, and B6, iron, copper, and much more. Plus, brown rice is naturally free of any gluten content. While gluten doesn't pose a large health risk in general, some people do have gluten allergies, and gluten can be harmful to those managing celiac disease. It keeps you full. If you're trying to lose some weight and watch what you eat, hunger pangs can end up undoing a lot of your hard work. One way to prevent unwanted cravings is to eat foods that will keep you fuller for longer. The problem with white rice and other refined grains is that they lack appropriate amounts of fiber. This means that their carb loads will be digested quickly, and you may feel yourself becoming hungry again soon after your meal. 
However, brown rice's high fiber, coupled with various other nutrients, can work to stretch the digestive process. This means that brown rice can help you stay fuller for much longer than you would feel with white rice. It may help lower your bad cholesterol levels. Brown rice contains compounds called lignans, which have been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease. Lignans have the ability to lower total cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Plus, lignans can work alongside the fiber and oil content found in brown rice to help lower your LDL, or bad, cholesterol levels, while simultaneously raising your HDL, or good cholesterol levels. The Downsides of Brown Rice your average cup of brown rice has 44 grams of carbs and 3.5 grams of fiber. While that's a higher fiber content than you'll get with white rice, as mentioned before, you're still getting about 40 net carbs per cup. So as they say, that's not nothing. Brown rice has a glycemic index of 68 and a glycemic load of 12.5 making it a medium glycemic food. However, due to its fiber and nutrient content, brown rice can still be a safe, diabetic-friendly addition to your plate. Just make sure to watch your portions and pair your rice with protein. For example, why not try half a cup of brown rice with a cut of skinless chicken breast and a small side salad? Pairing brown rice with healthy protein and fiber-rich veggies can make for a nutritious, blood glucose-lowering, and appetite-busting meal. Now that we've discussed brown rice, it's time to take a closer look at our second contender, quinoa. But hold on. First, let's get you those two free gifts. Fill your plate with the best diabetes-fighting foods with superfoods for diabetics. And discover amazing insights from leading medical specialists with episode one of that diabetes documentary. Grab both gifts now by clicking the link in the description below. And now, introducing today's Royal Rice Rumble Challenger. It's contender number two, quinoa. So what is quinoa anyway? Quinoa is actually a seed from a flowering plant, that being the Kenopodium quinoa plant. When prepared, it may look very much like a cereal grain, but no, quinoa is not actually a grain. While it was revered during the Inca Empire and has been popular in South America for thousands of years, its popularity in the USA is a new phenomenon. It's incredibly nutrient-dense, and many consider it a superfood. Quinoa comes in many colors, like white, red, and black. While the taste can vary depending on the color, there isn't much nutritional difference. So let's look at the nutrition of quinoa. After being cooked, a cup of quinoa has about 220 calories. For those carb counters, it has 39 grams of carbohydrates, which is just a bit lower than brown rice. However, quinoa has more fiber than brown rice, containing 5 grams, giving it a net carb amount of 34 grams per cup. Quinoa also comes loaded with 8 grams of protein per cup. Just like brown rice, quinoa's true health value comes from its plentiful nutrients. One cup contains 58% of the manganese and 30% of the magnesium you need daily. Quinoa also has 28% of the daily recommended amount of phosphorus which can aid bone health. Quinoa is also an excellent source of beneficial folate, containing nearly 20% of the daily recommended amount per cup. Folate is an extremely important B vitamin for those worried about diabetes, as it has been shown to reduce levels of insulin resistance. 18% of your daily copper requirements can also be found within a cup of quinoa. Copper helps your body make red blood cells. Quinoa is also known for its compounds, including quercetin and camphorol. Quite a mouthful, right? Well, even if you can't pronounce these compounds, you should eat them. They can lower inflammation and may even reduce depression. In addition, they've both been shown to help prevent certain forms of cancer. And just like brown rice, quinoa's high fiber content makes it another diabetes-friendly food, which can help keep you fuller longer. It's also well known for being gluten-free, just like brown rice. The protein of quinoa. Quinoa is also known for being a perfect 
protein powerhouse. There are nine essential amino acids in total, and when combined, form a complete protein. However, many plant-based foods do not include all nine. But quinoa does have all nine amino acids, making it a perfect protein choice. The downsides of quinoa. Even though it has fewer carbs per cup than brown rice, quinoa still has around 34 net carbs per cup. Therefore, eaten on its own, quinoa, like brown rice, could create a rise in glucose levels. Quinoa has a glycemic index score of 53 and a glycemic load of about 10.7. While lower than brown rice, it does still fall into the medium category. Therefore, if you're worried about diabetes, you should monitor your blood sugar when consuming quinoa. So, as is the case with brown rice, make sure to pair quinoa with healthy protein and some high-fiber veggies. So, in this showdown, who wins? As you can see, both quinoa and brown rice can be delicious and nutritious alternatives to white rice. When eaten in moderation and paired with protein, both can bring plenty of health benefits, especially for those managing diabetes. But this is a brawl after all. There can be only one winner, and that winner is quinoa. Why? Quinoa contains fewer carbohydrates and a higher fiber amount than brown rice. Quinoa also wins due to its protein being more complete than brown rice. Brown rice is rich in certain amino acids, but it doesn't contain all nine. Of course, you can pair your brown rice with other foods to get your full protein requirement, but quinoa still wins for quality protein content. Both brown rice and quinoa contain a long list of beneficial nutrients. So brown rice is no slouch. There's nothing wrong with including both brown rice and quinoa in your normal diet. In fact, you can find quinoa and brown rice blends. This can help you get the best of both worlds. As long as you're not following a keto diet, both quinoa and brown rice are great. Just be sure to consume them in moderation. And don't forget to pair them with quality protein and high fiber vegetables. Packed with nutrients and offering various health benefits, both quinoa and brown rice can be a wonderful addition to your normal diet. Before you go, we'd love if you gave this video a like. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Diabetes Smarts, your home for living your best life beyond the threat of diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.